Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing .com. So in previous videos, uh, we have already seen like how to work with keyboard, okay, how to perform different operations uh, using keyboard, how to perform double click and right click using mouse, and uh, how to handle drag and drop, how to handle tooltip, and uh, in the last video we have seen how to work with uh, how to handle multi select actions, okay. So these are the different operations uh, using mouse and keyboard we have already covered and today I am going to cover uh, mouse over and auto suggestion okay so these two things we are going to see today so let's look at uh, first mouse over and then we'll see auto suggestion how to handle auto suggestion okay so eclipse is already open so here I'll create new class I'll give name as mouse over demo and uh, public select void main. I'll copy few lines of code to launch the browser as we normally do and uh, if you navigate to my blog demo website so I'll give an example of uh, mouse over okay so let's see WordPress demo this website okay so just log in with uh, by entering username and password so you can see at right side okay right top we have uh, open source CMS this option so when you mouse over here then only this logout option will appear okay suppose you want to log out from this website so how do you do first mouse over here and then click on logout okay so let's automate this scenario okay so first we need uh, let's log out and then at login page we need uh, what happened logout Once again, let me just reopen it again. Yeah, so I'll copy this URL. I'll put it over here. Okay, now let's uh, inspect these elements in the username field. We have ID as user login, user underscore login. So driver dot find element by dot id and I'll put user login okay and uh, we'll store in web element user login or uh, let's say user id And let's give let's not store in web element directly we can log in right so we can pass send keys uh, using send keys we can pass uh, this user ID right okay now what is password uh, what is the xpath of password so here we have ID as uh, user underscore pass so we can use that driver dot find element y dot id user underscore pass and then send keys same okay username username and password are same and uh, later on login button so we have wp hyphen submit is the id so driver dot find element by dot id will give id and then click operation right so this is done once you log in let me just log in so 
so we are going to use the actions class right so simply I'll create the object of action class let's first create the actions object I'll call the driver like this okay now let's uh, uh, inspect this option right this uh, right side uh, this top menu okay so right click and click on inspect so what we have we can copy this and anchor tag and then we have text is equal to this one howdy howdy something okay so here we got one of one element so we can use this so let's say I'll give uh, what second driver dot find element pi dot uh, x path. I'll give this x path. Okay, and let's store in a web element. And here I'll give like uh, mouse over. Over. Okay. Or uh, let's say log out option from there we have to we have to go to log out log out button and click on this option okay and uh, okay so let's perform some operations using this act object okay so act dot we have moved to element okay so we'll move to element so this is the element okay dot perform okay so move to element we'll move here first okay and using this perform method this complete action will be performed Simply we are moving here and then we, what we have, we have this logout option. So let's inspect this. So this is logout. So text is logout. So simply we'll put it over here. Uh, we found one of two. What we can do, we have class. This is the class. So let's give another attribute at the rate class equal to ab hyphen item. Now we have one of one. We found one of one. Okay, so we can use this x path. So driver dot find element dot x path and here we'll give complete x path. And simply we can perform dot click operation because using this operation use this code this piece of code we are moving here mouse over and then we have to click on logout okay we're clicking on logout now let's close the browser dot dot close I'll put some weight uh, after login, login into the application, let's put one second here and mouse are not required. And before, after logging out, when we click on logout, and then here we'll put two seconds of wait. Okay, now my program is ready, everything is ready now. Let's run this. We'll see whether it will work or not. 
so browser is launched clicked on login button and then it will mouse over and log out and then it will close the browser so you can see it performs uh, the whole operations right so this is how you can work with mouse over so let me just recap what we have done so we have logged into the browser uh, logged into this application i mean we have launched this uh, open source cms site okay and uh, we have created the object of actions class and later on we are uh, we have figured out the x path of uh, user login i mean we have uh, located the element using id not x path okay using id and we have uh, we have sent keys we have sent the username using send keys method open source cms similarly for password open source cms and then we have clicked on log login button okay and later on we have uh, we have this x path okay using this x path we have got this web element logout option when we mouse over right uh, before that yeah that mouse over to mouse over uh, we have to get the option we have to get this web element right this web element so here we got and later on move to element this is the move to element method using that we are mouse over here and later on we have we have clicked on this logout option using this command okay so this is about mouse over now auto suggestion okay so for auto suggestion already i have uh, created the program so i'll explain you okay so let me just explain so this to launch the browser and navigate to google so what i'm doing here is let me just show you so i'm navigating to google.com and here i am typing simply selenium okay and i'm clicking on any of the options here so this scenario we have to handle because this is auto suggestion right so we need to just write selenium here and then we'll see number of items here we'll see number of search items automatically these are auto suggestions right google is giving the suggestions different suggestions like uh, along with i mean uh, when we type selenium then we can manually how we do that right uh, we need to just type selenium and then we need to select uh, whatever you want suppose you want to download selenium like if you want to go to selenium hq site selenium tutorials if you want to search for selenium web driver so you need to just select that particular item so how to handle this scenario right so here i have uh, already covered already i have automated that so let me just explain okay so here we have navigated to google.com and uh, this is the search box of google and we are sending this uh, word right selenium using send keys method and uh, whatever options we'll get list of items i'm storing in a list using find elements method so this is the x path so this is important part we have to capture all the list all the items here all the web elements and we have to capture uh, we have to store in list in a list okay and then simply for loop okay uh, i is equal to zero i less than or equal to less than the size of list okay and i plus plus it each time will uh, increment by one and then these two print the list of items okay it will get the index and then print using the get text method okay get text method get the string string value and then it will print so yeah here we'll store that uh, string value in a search text variable and simply we are comparing here search text dot equals selenium hq suppose i want to click on this selenium hq 
okay so selenium uh, we uh, simply we need to give if it is equal equals to this selenium hq then it will click to that particular item let me just show you so like this so it should display like this okay and uh, once we get this selenium hq then break the loop and at last close the browser so this is how we can automate this so let me just run this browser is launched and it will navigate to google it will type selenium and then it will select selenium hq selenium sorry selenium hq it won't find one second let's say selenium testing okay let's read on this program it should click on selenium testing browser is launched selenium and selenium testing is there it should click on that selenium testing you can see that okay so this is how you can uh, automate auto suggestion you can handle auto suggestions okay, so this is very basic program okay i'll post this in my blog as well so we have covered all these actions which i have listed here so thank you guys for watching please subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye